Welcome back to another episode of Roblox. We're back in Meep City. First of all, I am so sorry that I have been kind of MIA for a little while. My sister actually visited me from New Hampshire, so I was busy entertaining her. Not only that, shortly after, Ryan got really sick, and I really wanted to just be with him when he was sick. And then after that, I got sick, and I am now finally starting to feel better. I actually really wanted to do face cam, but because I'm just getting over my sickness, I did not feel cute today. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully starting next time, I'll be able to do more face cam videos. But for now, today I am really, really excited because I was told that there is a lot of furniture update. By the way, um, is this a staircase? Okay, I'm still not so used to this layout if you go upstairs i kind of started decorating the holiday rooms i'm not sure if i'm going to keep them holiday themed but as you can see right here is like the christmas theme and over here is the halloween theme and you know what the crazy thing is see this pumpkin right here see this pumpkin i really want to get rid of it but oh, let's see if the glitch is fixed oh i can move it now oh my gosh i can totally move it now okay so before there was a glitch when i would go in and the pumpkin was not there but yay the glitch is fixed so it's not a haunted pumpkin anymore. So let's go out and let's go to the furniture store. Of course, I can just go into the inventory and go to the furniture store in that way. What's the fun, you know? What's the fun? I need to visit the town at least once when I come into Meep City. So let's go to the playground, even though I don't know why it's called the playground. It's like where all of the stuffs are, like the stores, right? So let's go to the furniture store right here. Hello, Foxy. Have, how have you been? I heard that you got n lots of new stuff. Look at all these new, 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 new flags. Those are a lot of new flags. So let's go to the kitchen. They have a stool, punch bowl. Ooh, I do need to get... Oh my gosh, look how short I am on coins. I do need to get punch bowl, so I'm going to get that. No, it's not a punch bowl like you punch it, but it's like a punch, fruit punch. And then there's small dining tables, um, table, small chair. We'll keep those in mind, but it's good to know that they have those options too. There is open shower. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's bathtub with jets. Scale, yes, I kind of do want that. Thank you, because I need to weigh myself to keep myself on track with my diet because I need to fit my wedding dress, you know? And then here's the bedroom. So here is the dog bean bag. It looks more like a cat. Or it looks more like a hamster. I don't know, it does not look too much like a dog. But if you want to be a dog, you be a dog, okay? That's totally fine. So there's wooden dresser, tall, smart fan. I want one of these in my room. And a short one, nightstand, and vanity mirror. So yeah, those are really cool too. I'm going to actually just like hold back a little bit because I am short on money. I might get more meat coins, but it's good to know what is new. So they have a giant TV custom sign. Ooh, that one you have to buy with Robux. And that mannequin was there before. Okay, okay. Custom wooden sign. Those are not new, but still good to know. Okay, back. And then living room. What's new? Let's see. Ooh, a Roomba. Oh, so expensive. Just like the real life Roomba. And simple table. Curved leather couch. I really like that. I really like these. Lazy chair. I like that too. <gasps> Jail cell door. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I am loving these. Where can I make a jail? Jail. Okay. I need to keep those in mind. I do need to... Oh my gosh, should I just change my estate? I just built it. I just built it. Oh man, okay. And then uh, if I go... Uh, I already looked at that. Um, Party essentials, they have speakers. Good, good. And then decorations. Okay, so they have a fairly good amount of decorations. Hopefully for Valentine's Day, they will come out with more they have telephone. Oh my goodness. Reminds me of my childhood. And then they have like a whole bunch of greenery, which is really cool. Exercise ball. Okay, that is really cool too. Toolbox. Nice, nice. And I think that's about it. Any other new school? Oh, chemistry set. What? Did I not see those last time or did they just add those in and i just missed the update that is super cool okay okay i do want oh and then paint easel goodness i might have to just change that whole entire castle into some sort of classroom theme with a dungeon with a jail <laughs> uh -huh. okay so good to know thank you why am i sleeping no 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 last week wake up okay the moon's rising it is the night time let's 
go to the home improvement store to see if they have any wallpaper to decorate, I don't know, either chemistry room or anything, you know? Hello, Penguin, how are you? Blueprints. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Are you serious? They have a gingerbread estate? They have an igloo estate? They have Victorian-style estate? I just bought this estate! Ugh. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I know I want that, but oh, it's kind of, you know, for like the holiday, you know, kind of Christmassy, you know? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and buy the Victorian estate, and I know I just built my castle estate, and I just set up my room, some of my rooms, but I want to get this estate and see if it's more, like, if it's better fitting for a school setup. Because I kind of want to do, like, a theme. Like, I want to do, like, a start one estate and then completely make it into, like, a school. And then start another estate and completely have a different theme for it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So let's go ahead and get this estate. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> My Robux wallet bleeds. Oh, man. That was an expensive purchase. Okay. Okay. Well, we got the blueprint. That, I think, would look good in my school theme. Ooh. See, these would have been really good for, like, this one. Especially for the gingerbread house, I think. Yellow cafeteria. Ooh, I do like that one. Mm. Okay. Let's go ahead and buy this yellow cafeteria tile. Purchase. Okay. Back. And then we're going to go to wallpaper. Okay, anything good? Oh, I like that rainbow one. Hmm, pastel rainbow. That doesn't really look pastel at all though. Okay, so that could be really good for like gaming because it's like all pixelated, like 8-bit heart. Why would you want furry green wall? <laughs> Why? Oh, that would be another really good one for, like, the holiday and stuff. That's 4th of July. Oh, guys, look. They have detention wall. That might be perfect for jail. And here I am purchasing all the wallpaper that I do not need because I don't even have, like, the jail stuff. Oh, goodness, Lastig. You really like falling asleep, don't you? So let's look at the blueprints. We're going to get our Victorian one. Ow. Oh, my goodness. That looks pretty cool. And there's the castle right next to me. So if you need to see a comparison of the Victorian castle, I mean Victorian estate next to the castle, there you go! You know, it would have been really cool if the castle itself, if the castle estate had more than two floors when you go inside. Because if you look from here, there's like, there should be four floors, you know? There should be like a tower and stuff, but no. Let's go inside and see how this estate looks and see if it's... Better fitting for school. Oh my goodness. If it's like less better fitting f than the castle, then I would have done this for no reason. Oh, so this is a... This is one gigantic room. Start it from there and then all the way here. It's two entrances or two exits, however you want to call it. So that could be perfect for cafeteria. And over here could be a good classroom or like a principal's office. Oh, okay. So here... This could be a classroom. Who knows? And then this could be the closet. I don't know. I'm still looking. Or it could be the... Oh, I don't know. I'm still looking. Looking. Okay, let's go upstairs. Where's the... Okay, there's the staircase. Are there any more? Yeah. No, no. Wait, wait. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, wait. Wait. No, no. I'm circling. Oh, my goodness. No, there are two staircases. Oh, my gosh. I wasn't crazy. I thought I was going crazy. Goodness. Okay, so over here, if I go this way, will I be led to a different place? Okay, so here's one room. So far, I am liking this much more. It has definitely way more potential to be a school building than the castle. Okay, and then here's another one with like a closet kind of unit. So we could build multiples of classrooms, like one science room and then... Okay, and these two staircases, they... They lead to the same um, same second floor. Here's another room. So that's really cool. What about over here? Oh, okay. That's interesting. An odd-shaped room. Hmm. Goodness, guys. What should I do? What should I do first? I know for a fact that I want this to be the cafeteria. So actually, let's get that started. We already have the cafeteria floor. So let's go and get the flooring. This tile floor, yes, that is cute. And for the wallpaper, this is always my go-to, go-to color. So, oh my gosh, along this wall, we could totally put lockers. So let's do that. Do I have any lockers? Wallpaper, wallpaper. What could be a good wallpaper for when you first enter the school? You want to give like a really good vibe, right? Is does that Does that give out good vibe to you? Hmm, how about this yellow one? Maybe, I do kind of like that one. So we're gonna keep that one for now. And then for floor, let's give... That doesn't look too bad. Okay, so we're going to do that. And we're going to go and shop. 
And we have to buy coins. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I've already spent almost 4,000 Robux on this! It's okay. It's okay. Meep City is one of my favorite games. It's okay. It's all going to support the creator of the game, right? So shop, and we're going to go to school. We're going to get lockers. Ooh, okay. So I want red. Purchase red and gray for now. Yeah, so this is nowhere close to filling up this wall. That's okay, though. That's okay. We've got a good start. I want to see how the lockers work. Do they work? Can I actually open them? Doesn't look like I can open them. Oh, bummer. That's a bummer. Oh, Mischief, I forgot to dress you up. Here you go. Now you look super duper smart. I do realize that I should probably pick one room and really focus on it. This one doesn't have a closet. So I'm going to take only the ones with closet to create into classrooms. And I want to make a science classroom. So here we go. Flooring, I think we're going to keep it this dark flint carpet. Or this one? No, that's too bathroomy. And then wallpaper, my go-to one. I think this has like a really nice classroom feel. So we're going to keep that. And then we're going to go to... Um, let's see, what else what can I take out? I need this. Of course, I'll have to move these around. But for now, let's try to set these up. So when you come in here, I think it'll be nice to have the chalkboard on this side. So let's move that chalkboard on this side. In the middle. And then the teacher's desk could go over here. Like maybe in the corner like this. I think that would be pretty cute. And then let's go ahead and put the carpet. <laughs> this is very much looking like our old room like our other classroom but like we, we are creature of habits right like some of the things will look alike regardless of how much i try to make it look unique and we are kind of limited to the furniture that we can get from here here this one put it right there and then where's that globe there you are so we're going to put the globe on this side. Okay, looking pretty good for now. And let's actually go to the shop and let's buy our student stuff. Okay, so we're going to buy chemistry set. So we're going to buy, um, I would say at least three. No, let's buy two for now. And then if we need more, then we'll get some more. Um, I don't know how small the small desk is, so I'm going to get, um, one small desk. And see how that plays out. If I think it's too small, then I'll go with the large desk. Oh, there's a lab desk. I didn't see that. Oh, man. Okay, let's get two of those. Two of those. And then um, wall lab glass. Buy two of those for now. Let's get some chairs. I think when I think of science class, I think of blue. So we're going to go with blue. Let's get two of those for now. I'm gonna need a lot of these if I want to fill up this classroom. Look how empty it's going to feel. And actually, since the lab desk is black, I feel like I should change the flooring. That's too bathroomy. Oh, maybe I should just keep it in this one? Hmm. Okay, that's not so bad. We'll go with that one. And then let's go back and get another lab desk. Ooh, we can put two of these to a desk so the students can have lab partners. Those L and... Oh, I can actually make stuff. How cool is that? Look at Mischief. He looks like a scientist with those glasses, doesn't he? Well, we do need some lighting because it's quite dark here. And then we also definitely need more chairs and more desks. I would like to see how small the small desk is. Okay, the small desk is not that small, honestly. We could... What we could do is put the small desk in the back and make it kind of like our supply desk, maybe? Get another small desk and put it there. And then bookshelf. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. So let's actually put this school book out too. Put it on one of the desks. I just got a really good idea. I think if I could make those two small desks into like... um like a research station in the back of the room. I think that would look really cute too. So we're going to do that side by side. I don't want them touching each other though. I think leaving a little bit of gap will make them look cute. And then another desk chair goes right here. Okay, and then let's put the PC monitor. Oh, they're facing the wrong way. <laughs> of course they are. 
Okay, let's turn them around. That looks cute. Okay, okay, we're doing pretty well. Let's put another large bookshelf on this side. And of course, I forgot to get the chemistry set. Of course I did. Honestly, this is not looking too bad. This is actually pr starting to look pretty good. I thought I would need way more than um, four desks, but it kind of looks like it's been filling... Yeah, it looks like it's pretty filled right now. And I think I want to put like a projector here. And if I remember correctly, my science classrooms in um, school always has some sort of sink in the classroom. So if I could use some of like the kitchen stuff, like a kitchen counter and stuff and put it along the side, I think that would look really cute as well. But we're going to actually put these marble, if it will line up, beams. And I think it will like kind of give that like framed look into whatever we're going into. And I think that would look pretty cool. I like this one. So we're going to get this granite sink. And then we're going to get two of the corner ones. I think that's it for the kitchen. We might need some paper towels. So let's get one of those. You know what? It might be actually really cute to have this dog beanbag in our classroom. So I'm going to get that. Oh, I do kind of like this simple table instead of that blue one. So let's get one of those. Oh, and I just thought of this trophy case. We could totally put it in the hallway. That's a great idea. And tall lamp, we need one more purple. So let's get that. Maybe some spider plant box would look cute. Some little bookshelves and some books. I only have one stack of books. And maybe some desk headphones. And then let's get a projector screen over on this side so that each student can have their own pair when they're working on the desk. You know, it would be pretty cute if we have like a stack of books on top of the bookshelf. It's like, oh, yeah, we have bookshelves, but not enough space. So we're going to put these book books up here. That's kind of cute. I do like that. Oh my goodness, this plant box is huge. I thought it would be a little plant. No, 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 no. That's a big plant. Okay, I'll figure out what I want to do with you later. But I thought we had another stack of books. So, there we go. Whoa, okay. So, I was not expecting them to be that big. Okay, so we got those. And let's see. Oh, wait a second. This is where I wanted to put the sink. It bugs me that there is a little bit of gap. I will have to fix that in my own time. I know I can fix it. Sometimes, like, it, all it takes is, like getting off of the server and rejoining the server and that sometimes fixes it not all the time but sometimes so we got the counter and honestly i think it would be better if we move these over above the counter then we can actually put the projector on this other side and it actually makes sense okay so my science classroom is i think done for now. If you guys have any suggestions on how I can improve my science classroom, please do let me know because it's been a while since I've last been to public school. So if you guys can kind of freshen up my memory and give me suggestions on how I can improve this classroom, that would be fantastic. But just so you guys know, here are the rugs. I know this looks very similar to the last cr classroom we created, but it's because, you know, we kind of have to use similar stuff over and over create these classrooms but here's the chalkboard the teacher's desk i'm not too happy with this area 100 percent, so i might change it but i did put the plant over it on this side and the projector on this side i am quite happy with how all these are actually laid out and then we have um like a computer station that people um the students can come and do their research during you know their science experiment they're like oh what is that that i'm supposed to do and they can come here and research and then they can also look at the books we have plenty of books here is like a little cute area because you know science can be very fun and then here's like a little washing station because i remember in science classrooms they always had some sort of sinks is that floating it totally is floating. Oh my goodness, I need to fix that. Any poo, that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, Like I said, I want to make this entire estate into a classroom. So which room do you want me to work on next? Do you want me to work on the cafeteria? Do you want me to do the auditorium? Do you want me to do the principal's office? If you guys have suggestions on this room, and if you guys have a suggestion on which room that I should work on next, Please do let me know and I will take that into consideration. Ooh, and also art room. And maybe music room too, if there is music stuff. Any poo, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys!